the story of the Roman Empire opens with a fairy tale. Once upon a time, not far from here, a princess gave birth to twin sons. The king, her wicked uncle, fearing that the boys would one day become his rivals, ordered his faithful servants to throw them into the river. But as it was in flood, they just left them in a basket at the water's edge from where they floated downstream. Rescued on the bank by a mother wolf who suckled them, they were later found by a local shepherd who reared them as his own. Their names were Romulus and Remus. And they went on to found Rome. This small, ordinary town in the middle of Italy became the centre of an empire, stretching from the fringes of the Sahara to the damp moorlands of northern Britain. From Spain to Israel, the Nile to the Rhine. It has framed the geography of modern Europe and defined the way we think of empire now, transforming the Western world through revolutions in trade. This is one of the first examples of globalization. Agriculture, just olives, olives, and more damn olives. Art, law, and architecture. This is where even I get a bit gobsmacked by Roman engineering. There are plenty of conquests and defeats too, battles and butchery. But there are also bigger questions. How did it work? And what difference did it make? Why did the empire eventually fall? And how did it all come about in the first place? Was it ambition? Was it just luck? If we really want to answer that question, we have to go back to what the Romans themselves said about it, to their doubts, their debates, and their conversations. Because they wondered just as much as we do about what set them apart. <laughs> 